Well, I've just got back exhausted and broken after a seven mile walk out into the countryside. The walk in itself was very pleasant. The condition of the man was dubious. And um, I've come home. There's only one way to treat great thirst, tiredness and hotness. And that is with one of these. So I'm going to consume this now and possibly another one. And I will share this video with you. Cheers. I love to go wandering along the mountain track. And as I go, I love to sing my knapsack on my back. My knapsack on my back. I wave my hand to all I meet, and they wave back to me. Northfield Road, I think we're gonna. I wonder what that was for a minute. Yeah. We're not going down to the, through the town. Oh, we're not, right. No, we're going to go this way. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Up into Northfield Road. And then I think we'll grow a rose and, and, um, on it. Coming out onto this yes, estate called the Damsels. I don't think they're particularly attractive. Crossing London Road. Sue organises all this morning. Beautiful. The rugby field. We're going down that road right now. Always oh, nice to see people taking care of their gardens. In Chavenage Lane. He looks fitter than Jeff. Right. That's a nice, uh, That's now we take our chances with the traffic. Yeah. No more pavement to walk on. And all of a sudden, we're in the countryside. Aren't we, Mrs. Little? Yeah. Beginning to build up a sweat a bit. So I thought I'd put the flannel underneath the hat. The trouble is I have no hair. Beginning to puff. Isn't it gorgeous? <gasps> oh, yours is lovely too. Have a lovely time. Have a lovely ride anyway. Um. Mrs. Little. Hello. Morning. Morning. This is where I took the photos of Tetbury Church from the other day. Mm. 
floor to ceiling windows. Amazing room that is inside. This is where Gladys, Gladys's father came from. A dog. And they've got a place here where they're doing coffee. Right out in the middle of nowhere. And we've not brought any money with us. Oh yeah, hi there. Come up here. Can we turn right here. Yeah. It's rather nice for you, isn't it? We're going to go right across this crossroads. This is the main road between Tetbury and Evening. And this is the Tetbury Upton sign that we discussed. Hmm. Straight down the little road again. We're going to be, we're going to be more out in the open. Oh, the, the wheat here is still green. Whereas further back it was, looked ripe. Bit of grass in the middle of the road. Always a good sign. Reminds me of Ireland. Beverly talking to mother at the appointed oh, hour. Oh yes, yes. And here we have yes. a barley field with a footpath cut right across the middle. Cut by the farmer to allow people to walk across the field. That's how we do things in England. At this point we are 4.8 miles into the seven miles. Just getting a little twinge in my back. But then look at my age.
round to the right. I wonder why Beverly's going in there. Adjusting her clothing. Yeah, can you just make sure there's nothing on my back? Well, all I can say is she looks happier afterwards than she did before. Yeah. These little roads, leaving the main roads with bloody great holes in them. Mrs. Little says it's to do with the budget. Cheaper to do a road like this than a big busy road. Bar black sheep. I don't know what it is. Second to last leg. Nice uh, Sold. Mm. This is home farm which belongs to our esteemed, if rather eccentric prince and if I sound exhausted I am, I am. <laughs> my hips are hurting my back's hurting oh god now this will all be organic barley grown by our steam Is that him driving that tractor? Home. The alpaca field. And I am shattered. I need a beer. So we're nearing the end of our seven or eight mile walk. I am absolutely knackered. Sitting on a wall about 300 meters from home. Um, still can't make it. Bear has offered to go and get the car, but I won't hear of it. Anyway, it's been an experience. We're back in our road. The last couple of miles were definitely the worst. God. I feel absolutely broken. When you're this thirsty and this tired, only one thing will do. Beer.